Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So we've had a bit of a gap down. We had a bit of a sell-off. Well, not really a sell-off. I think it's more profit-taking from people that were long here because uh, they whipsawed around in this uh, big up, big down, big up, big confusion. So the minute they hit the structure, they took profit. And the structure is quite clear to see. You can see there's my inside tail there, right over there, and that's where we took profit. And if you look to the left, you can see quite a bit of interaction at that level. So oscillators are grouped to the upside and have crossed over. So the question is, you know, is this a move back down to test the trend line? And the trend line is quite far. It's down there. Remember, earnings season kicks off this week. Uh, so that's the first area. Or has it come back to test this break, uh, which is 43.74? The uh, fact that we've gapped down below it is a bit concerning. So uh, I'd obviously want to see price come up and then come back and close, well, sort of close the weekly gap, then come back and test it, uh, this level at 43.74, before looking for a long. So that's kind of the view that we've got on the 8-hour. If we get to the 3-hour, um, 3 hours is a different picture. Look at my oscillators. They are far apart at the moment. They cross over like that. That is a fairly violent move to the upside. Uh, we are on the moving averages. We've got a crossover of the moving averages. We're just not above the 155. So we need to get above the 155 in order for me to start looking at a uh, trend reversal. And from this downward trend, we've been in for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. So for me, this is a crucial level, 43.74. Uh, is it a retest? And just line it up exactly onto this here. Yeah, so it's 43.72 is the actual level. So is it a retest of structure? In my eyes it is. There is another little level just below it, which is often uh, what gets taken, what comes back to be tested. And the reason behind that, there's a bit of logic behind it. You can see it finds structure there, breaks away. Then it breaks through that structure to the downside. Doesn't really test it again. You can see there's like one bar attempts at testing it, but there's no real structure like there was there. So that's always a, a level that you need to have in because the probability of it coming back to test that is fairly high. So just pay attention to that. Now, if we move to the hour, Friday was a mess. It was there was nothing worth trading there. Uh, on farm payrolls was a mess. Uh, nothing really happened. You had a catalyst and nothing going on. And if you look at the oscillators, all grouped to the downside right now, fairly close to a few levels. So the 155 EMA is here as well. So, yeah, we need to hold above these moving averages before this trend has reversed. So I'd be very curious to see what happens here. Uh, 43.72 is the first area, and then 43.57 is the next area. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, it's kind of a wait and see game this morning. Uh, earnings really only kicks off on Wednesday, so we might just be in a, a sideways motion until then. Or alternatively, it's just going to drift lower, drift lower, drift lower, and uh, institutions will find they'll find value a little bit lower down than where we are now. So yeah, I'm kind of set on hands on the S&P. I think we'll just wait and see what transpires. I think you've got a little bit more opportunity on any yen pairs for the forex. Just have a look at those. I think there's um, a lot, especially the pound and the dollar at the moment against the yen. There's quite a there's a, a pretty strong opportunity there. But this, for me at the moment, not something I want to be in. Uh, we'll have to wait for the open and see what transpires. But if we can hold above, if we can hold this level here at 43.72 and start bouncing off it, then I'm a buyer. If, we've, if that level fails, we need to watch this next level here. Uh, if that one fails, then this trend line down the to the downside is the one that you need to pay attention to. Uh, that's sort of the, the view I've got at the moment. Not sure I want to be selling. Uh, not going into earnings seasons, I don't think I want to be selling. Uh, it's, that would be kind of foolish. So anyway, that's kind of my view this morning, is uh, confused and, and sitting quietly on the sidelines until we see structure. If we do see something happen, I will give it to you on the Telegram channel. Um, but until then, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.